Welcome to the next Classcraft Questing video. In this one, I want to focus on the Star Trek or Star Wars one. This is another fun assignment, but it focuses on a very important scientific skill, the ability to argue from evidence. We all have opinions, and our opinions are all right, even though they could be opposite. So if you say Star Wars is the best, you are right. And if the other person says Star Trek is the best, they are right. You can argue forever, and you'll never change each other's minds. And you are right. You're both right. But it does allow us to practice in engaging an argument from evidence. So watch this awesome video that people put together splicing Star Trek and Star Wars footage. And then when you go to continue, I've given you websites to research. Yes, if you're going to argue with people, your argument will be stronger if you have text-based evidence or even video-based evidence. So you can look up videos and s make your point. So I've got Star Trek links and Star Wars links because especially if you've never watched a Star Wars movie or have never watched a Star Trek movie, you're going to need to do your research so you can make an argument. So let's say... I have some evidence uh, about Star Trek. Now notice here, this sixth grader posted a incredible uh, argument here. So what you have to do is read what he wrote and see if you can find some evidence to counter his argument. So yeah, this isn't just a quest where you go in the discussion and say, I like Star Wars because they have big ships. They really do. But you need to say, you know, pick a ship, uh, an Imperial cruiser. How big is it? How many crew do they have? How many TIE fighters come out of it? And then find out whether Star Trek has any ships that big. And do they even have small fighters that could uh, uh, fight against the TIE fighters? Because in Star Wars, the Rebels have the Y-Wings and the X-Wings, and, and those ships can fight the TIE Fighters in a dogfight like in World War II. Uh, but not so much in, in Star Trek. We don't really see that. Sorry, that was a huge spoiler. Um, so, yes, Donovan here said, talks about what Star Wars, what kind of a story it is. He even gives a background. This is excellent. And then he's going to compare that to Star Trek. So he does a fantastic job of providing a lot of background information. So, hey, you should uh, read his, those of you who are in cohort one or A1, because he's given you a lot of information you're going to need. And look at that. He said, this took me five hours, so it is good. I, I agree. But let's say I'm going to make an argument. I think... Star Trek ships have an advantage because Klingon ships have cloaking devices. And so I can go along the arc of, well, they can get close to a cruiser and the cruiser wouldn't even know they're there. And think about this. In Star Trek, They've got transporters where you can beam aboard a small landing party of armed Klingons or armed Federation officers into the cruiser, like into their engine room, and they can put bombs, beam out, ship warps away, and boom goes the cruiser. So, yeah, you could make an argument like that. And you could also, I would have you research um, how strong a laser is on a starship from Star Trek shield, because Star Trek ships have very strong shields, versus photon torpedoes and phasers, which are the weapons that Star Trek starships use. So in a ship-to-ship -ship battle, we have to know which weapon is stronger, because there have been Star Trek episodes where they're like, oh, that ship only has lasers. They're not going to be able to do much damage for us, so we don't have to worry. Spoiler! Okay, so that's an important thing. So, good luck researching. And you know what? This is to learn how to argue from evidence. 
I just use Star Trek and Star Wars because they're exciting topics. All right. Happy arguing. <laughs>